clients all around the world. So this is still uh, early in development, but we've got it working, and the quality of voice is incredibly high. Uh, you uh, will think that someone's just talking over a microphone here in the room. So to uh, give you a look at Pacifica, I'd like to invite up uh, Search, Jeff, Jesper's Search. Like Kevin said, I'm here to talk about a new Adobe project called Pacifica, um, in which we're creating a service that allows you, the developer, to easily um, integrate things like high-quality voice messaging and presence into your Flash, Flex, and even Air applications. Um, I'm going to start out with a little, little demo that we've created internally. It's just a little diary application that you use to keep your friends uh, up to date. Um, we just uh, did what you're going to be doing. We grabbed the source code and we just added a high quality voice connection to that. So uh, let me just uh, show you how this works because it's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm going to log into the website here. There it is. And um, I'm going to log in and I see uh, a bunch of my friends here. And this green circle actually tells me that this friend is online. And I know that that is Waldo. Uh, that's pretty interesting. He's been surfing in Tahiti, so I got to check that out. I got to know what that is all about. Hey, Waldo, how's it going? Hi, Serge. It's going great. How does everything sound on your side? Hey, that sounds great, man. Are you sure this is coming through your computer? Yeah, I'm plugged into my USB headset. Talking to you through the Pacific Service. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Sounds like we, we just enabled HD voice in the Flash player. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so, what have you been doing, Waldo? Oh man, it was great. I'm planning to put some pictures up later tonight. This was the perfect trip for a honeymoon and for surfing. If you ever plan to get married, this should be your destination. All you have to do is to propose to your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no plans for that yet, Waldo, but thanks anyway. I'm looking forward to those pictures. Um, <laughs> I gotta get back to these people here, so I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Great. Well, thanks everyone. Bye. Yeah. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Now, to enable a service like this, you would need a massive uh, server farm and even a massive infra infrastructure. I mean, just the voice components alone, they take a lot of configuration and engineering to get it working. Now, our goal is to eliminate all that. We just want to eliminate the complex backend. We don't want you to worry about that. We're just going to give you a simple point-to-point -point connection we're going to give you easy-to-use Flex components, all backed by the Pacifica service. Um, in version 1, we're focusing on the biggest issue, which is uh, the media connection. We'll just take that point-to-point -point connection any, anytime we can, in as many cases as possible, to seamlessly enable that high-quality player-to-player media stream. Um, we'll also be focusing on uh, providing a higher quality voice experience than what you get in the Flash player now. In uh, our first version, we'll also add um, support for text messaging, presence, and even some advanced techniques to do firewall traversal um, to do that point-to-point uh, -point media session. And what's cool about this is that this is going to be all accessible from the programming environment that you're using today. So Flash, Flex, doesn't matter, it will work. Um, I totally forgot my clicker here, so let me just grab this. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, sometime next year you'll see us add support for video. We'll even take that peer-to-peer uh, -peer connection even further. Um, we'll add support for air applications, and what's even cooler, we'll allow you to connect to the traditional phone network. Yeah. So I have one more quick demo for you. Um, you may have seen the demo application. It's an air application that's available on Labs uh, today. It's actually a little employee directory. And um, this application was developed by our IS and XD teams. We just used it internally to look up some information about colleagues and about conference rooms and things like that. And just recently, we added Pacifica to the internal implementation of that application. And I'm going to show you a little preview of future functionality of uh, Pacifica. So let me, up the, uh, let me open up the Adobe directory. Here it is. And um, I'm just going to look up Mike Downey because I haven't seen him today. I just want to make sure that he's awake um, because he has some sessions to do. So let's look up Mike Downey. And here he is. 
Now we're in demo mode in this application, so it's not showing the uh, actual phone number, so you don't need to be go writing these down <laughs> to uh, start stalking Mike. Um, let me actually click this button and see what happens. Takes a few seconds, usually. Aha! <laughs> so I hear a phone ringing. Hey, sir. Hey, Mike. Where are you, man? I'm all the way in the back of Parker's body. So, yeah, Mike is in the back of the room now. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. Good job, sir. Thanks, Mike. So, let me just tell you what we just did. <laughs> we, um, we called Mike on his cell phone from an air application. Isn't that cool? Now, um, we're here at Max to get you involved. We um, actually have a private beta starting um, sometime this month. And uh, we really want to get you involved with this. So, uh, if you're interested in working with uh, the Pacifica service, just keep an eye on our developer website and uh, all the information will uh, pop up there. And then hopefully by this time next year we'll be able to demo your Air and Flash applications at the next Adobe Max in Europe. Thank you very much. Now we have one more service for you, um, and I would like to invite uh, Enrique up the stage to show you everything about Cocoa. Thank